Everybody, we are so excited to welcome you back to Achieve. We miss everybody and we're really excited about getting everybody back here uh, soon. So we thought we'd share with you some of the changes you're going to see when you get here though. Uh, things are going to look a little bit differently. We're going to be doing some things a little bit differently and it's all to keep you safe and healthy and to keep our staff safe and healthy. One of those things is wearing masks. So let's show you around. Thanks, Tom. Well, the first thing that's going to be different is we're going to ask you to have your temperature taken before you leave home. Your temperature needs to be below 100.4 degrees. Otherwise, we want you to stay home and rest. We also want to be sure that you don't have a cough or shortness of breath, fever, chills, repeated shaking with chills, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, or a new loss of taste or smell. All these are possible symptoms of the coronavirus, and if you have them, you should stay home. When we reopen, not everybody's going to start right away. We're going to welcome people back a little bit at a time. You may or may not be in the first group to come back. We'll let you know. Because of this, you might ride a different bus or van into work and have a different driver. You might be picked up and go home at a different time than you usually do. Let's talk a little more about the vans and buses. I'm going to keep my mask on for the whole ride, but it's still me. <laughs> Drivers like Don are going to wear a mask like he said. We're going to ask you to wear a mask too. So thanks for keeping your mask on. We'll also make sure there's a lot of space between you and other riders. When you arrive at Achieve, a staff person will get on board and take your temperature before you get off. The thermometer kind of looks like a Wii game controller. We will not touch you with the thermometer, but we'll point it close to your head. It's pretty cool how it works. We really hope that you'll be willing to wear your mask most of the day, but if you don't want to wear it in the building, you can take it off and we'll put it in a paper bag with your name on it and your driver will keep it on your bus or van. You'll see that the staff will be wearing their masks all day. It's a good look. So what happens in the workroom? Let's ask Lonnie. Hey everyone, we are definitely excited to have you guys come back and I just wanted to let you know there might be a couple changes that we're going to be doing here in the workroom during work. So a couple of the changes are, first thing is we're going to have in the workroom, we're going to have X's that will be on the tables and that's where everybody's going to be able to sit. We have to follow the six foot rule where we have to be spread apart. So that's something a little different that you guys will be not used to. Uh, the second thing is, is that we may need people to work in pr program areas. So somebody might work in area green or area red. Uh, you may not be working exactly in the production room, but you'll be doing the same exact work. Uh, we definitely have plenty of cards. We've been having gaskets. Uh, staff's been helping out with that right now. So when you come back, the work's going to be the same. Just a couple different changes uh, that we want to let you know. So. Again, definitely excited to have you guys back, and we'll see you soon. Lonnie mentioned keeping six feet apart in the workroom. We're going to do that all through Achieve, in the hallways, the break room. Whenever we're talking to each other, we're going to try to stay at least six feet apart. We're going to miss stuff like handshakes and high fives and fist bumps, but for now, we're just going to kind of stand apart and we'll wave at each other. During break and lunch, we may have some people eat in the lunchroom while others are in program areas so we can keep some space between everybody. Here's kind of a big deal. In order to help stop the spread of the coronavirus, we're going to turn off the water fountains and we're going to turn off the vending machines so you will not be able to buy anything at Achieve. Even though you can't buy things at Achieve, you can do your part to make sure that you have everything you want and need. Please bring your own food, snacks, and drinks from home. Here's another coronavirus safety thing. For the first time in 50 years, we will not be providing popcorn on Friday. But wait, we will still provide you with a free can of pop at break time on Friday. Yay! We're going to ask people to please limit their visits to the office. But if you do go down there, please be accompanied by a staff person. You're going to see a plexiglass safety barrier on our front desk, just like the kind they have at stores. 
As another coronavirus safety measure, Lisa and Kelly will not be handling any money for you. They won't be breaking any bills and they won't be making any change. Sorry about that. Another safety measure that you're going to see pretty often is that staff are going to wipe down and sanitize tables and other surfaces for your protection. You can help yourself too by washing your hands often during the day. Thank you for doing that. At the end of the day, we'll let you know when it's time to go and what bus or van to get on. It probably won't be at 11 o'clock in the morning though. Thank you so much for being willing to wait until staff tell you it's time to go. We really do not want people waiting together in the loading area for their vans and buses. Remember that we're going to ask you to wear your mask during the ride home. Well, we hope that this video has been helpful to you in showing you some of the changes that we're making here. And again, we want to welcome you back to Achieve uh, and remind you to please help us stay safe and healthy by washing your hands frequently, wearing masks. Uh, you'll have your temperature taking, taken every morning when you come in. Uh, and please maintain a safe distance of six feet from each other while you're here uh, and that'll make sure everybody here stays healthy and safe. So welcome back, can't wait to see you.